Good morning, everyone. This is Med City CPA, and I'm reading through the IRS publication 4012. And this is a publication about uh, for the VITA TCE programs, um, scope of services. And they have a guide on page, let's see, page seven. Um, that has a list of all the common information reporting source documents and which line of the new form 1040 or the new schedules it should be listed so for example wages salaries tips unreported income military form pay line one okay the form 1040 um, here's where schedule one if you have any 1099 G's Taxable state and local refunds, Schedule 1. Um, and there's several pages. It's really helpful. It's a guide. It's not all inclusive. Um, but I know I'll find this helpful for the tax season. Um, maybe other people will find it helpful as well. Here's Schedule 1. If you get questions about, I have a 1099 miscellaneous for rental real estate income. Well, that's Schedule 1. Um, hey, I received a 1099Q, distributions from 529, Schedule 1. You know what where should I be putting this information uh, there's still you know references you know if you itemize that schedule a um, so yeah it's, it's really interesting um, there's tax schedule 2 non refundable credit schedule 3 uh, hey I got a 1098 T where should I put that um, you know the 1040 changed a whole new format it's supposed to be a postcard elimination of 1040 uh, easy in the 1040A, uh, so it's just one small postcard for most taxpayers. Uh, so Schedule 3, education credits for the 1098T, uh, things like that. Hey, I received a 1099R for additional tax on IRAs, Schedule 4, you know, things like that. Uh, if it's helpful, um, just thought I'd share this information. Uh, it's a little nifty, and I'll include a, a, a link to it in the description but I'm on pages seven eight nine so hopefully this helps everyone